welcome back one and all to another case in the Dark Detective series of Fumble in the Dark in case five, or excuse me, case four, Funfair Dismissal. Let's see what kind of trouble Detective and Dooley can get into this time. Blackouts across the city have led us to Vince's Funfair where the surges seem to be emanating from. Blackouts, mm, okay. It's my Pineapple Home Computer System, version 666, of course. Funfair dismissal. Spooky. Shit is spooky, son. Okay, we're here. Now to see if this place is where the power surges that are causing blackouts across the city are coming from. Looks like the trail is going dead. You better check the next place on our list. Did you not... What did you just think happened a moment ago? What? Did something happen when I blinked? Blinked? We don't have eyes. Okay, so I wasn't entirely 100% paying attention. In my defense... That's more a you thing. Alright. Big creepy clown carnivals. Everybody's favorite shit. Hmm. Jump leads might be useful to an electricity based mystery. I got some jumper cables. Did I ever mention that I don't like clowns? I feel like this is going to be an unpleasant case for you. Detective officer, what a right rice high rise. What? <sighs> a white rice, nice, high rise, surprise. But a flings brings you all the Shakespeare way out here. Still at the rhyming slang, I see. It's my bread and butter. Bread and butter, this was not a good rhyme. We're here about the power surges. They're causing blackouts across the city. Oh, you're here about the shower splurges? Power surges? That's some roast beef. A relief. I thought you were here about the hissing seagull. Missing people. Did you say missing people? No, I said hissing seagull. But you meant missing people. Oil seed locksmith. I plead the fifth. We should investigate, Uli. It's never just have a nice day out with you, is it? Hair dye. I'm not translating that one for you. I don't understand why anyone would by choice leave the ground. What dark secrets are they running from? We're going to end up there, aren't we? Detective Fish, great to see you. Brought the family to the fun fair, eh? To it, yes, into it, no. It's pleasant to look at, but little Shelly is already getting over exerted by being here. Can we go now? Oh, she's at it again, off the bloody handle. Keep it up, Shelly, just keep it up, so help me God, I'll take out the taser. Why is she like this? Are we to blame? Did we do something in a past life? Ah! Are you gonna be okay, kid? Yeah, they just have high stress jobs. They'll tire themselves out in a minute. Then we'll go in the roundabout ponies. Come and see the greatest lineup of rarities and oddities ever seen, only at Lady Farnival's Frivolous Carnivals. Shade Lady, what is she doing here, you ask? Why not she have a beard? Exactly. That's what's so odd. Come stare at her smooth, clean jawline and gasp in confusion. See Mikey Monkey Boy descended from chimps. Watch him use tools and communicate with others of his kind. And fear, Mr. Complete, half man and half the same man, he'll astound you with his wholeness. Gee, detective, maybe you need to investigate this place for strange going on. Not that big of a top, is it? More of a medium top. 
What is going on here? The elephant broke down! That's it. You're gonna try to deliver that sentence like it's perfectly normal? It's normal enough here! We don't have an animal mechanic! It seems to have overloaded in one of these power surges. If I want past it, I need to find a way to replace the burnt out wiring, and then restart the motor. It's a funny colored one. It looks tasty. It looks angry. Fancy a go, then. Not right now. I'm on a mission to fix an elephant. Lick an elephant? Nice one. I recommend some applesauce from experience. How does one end up working in a carnival? Same way one ends up working anywhere. You give up on your dreams and hand in an application. That was more real than I was expecting. Welcome to the real world, guy. Later, Gator. <laughs> this, hot guy, this hot dog guy. Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs! Hey, Norman. I guess the eggnog biscuit business is seasonal. Nah, mate. Somebody took all my milk. Nobody wanted to drink just eggs, so I was let go. Tried to tell them that a food vendor is for life, not just for Christmas, but they, they're having none of it. Oh, uh, sorry to hear about that. No worries. Thankfully, this carnival came to town. As Mama says, when God closes a door, he sets up a circus. Can I get a hot dog? What flavor do you want? What do you have? Vegan. Is that a flavor? Probably. Want any sauce with that? Oh, no thanks. Good. Mama was all out. So I just have empty bottles. Gonna refill them in a nearby cafe in a pit. I bought a soda there once, so I got free refills for life. I don't think that's how it... Shh, 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 here's your dog, mate. This is just a bun. Well, it's all vegan here, isn't it? I raided Mom's fridge, but she only had meat. I figured who'd even notice. You're a detective and you didn't even notice. What? I just called you on it. Mate, it's a hot dog bun, not a telephone. This guy. Tell me about it. How's Agnes? Mom's good. Her artisanal microwave stew business, stew only lives twice, is taking off. She's got employees and everything. She's even branching out into catering weddings. Who knew Stu would be so popular? Mama knew. That's why she set up the business. Weren't you listening? You look glum for a guy at a fun fair. Well, I, you know, I'm a competition guy. I enter competitions, lots of them. Law of numbers. You enter enough, you're going to win. I have a stamp with my info to speed entering up, you know and auto-dialer, and a lot of P.O. boxes. I know all the tricks, all of them. I'm always winning shit like boxes of chapstick. Want one? Or posh baby strollers, or tickets to sciences. Right. And well, I won 97 entries. Tickets to this place. And let me tell you, it stopped being fun somewhere in week three. I even gotten an attendance warning from work. Why don't you just bring friends, or give them out, or just not use them? My man, that breaks the code. You win a thing, you got to use it. Otherwise, you're robbing from someone else. Why do you think I drove here in a child's pram? Roll up, roll up, roll up. Win a gift for love, one happiness guaranteed. Go on then, give me a go. You might have something useful here. One ball coming up. If you can knock over my cans, you get your pick of my prizes. Let's give this a go, shall we? We are? Are we both going to throw it? Uh, no, maybe. I'll just do it myself. Hey, that shot was right on the money. <laughs> you suck. You're not going to make me search all the bins again this season, are you? Vote. Hmm, I could use this to jumpstart the elephant if I could find the keys. Circus of animals. Behind bars again, Tam? Tam was arrested for trying to steal candy from a baby. 
It ain't as easy as Tam was promised. Tam feels lied to. Sorry to hear that, Tam. Can I borrow your knife? Will Tam get it back this time? Last time you took his knife, you didn't give it back. Of course. Well, all right then. Well, you might not get it back. You are in clown prison after all. Tam feels double lied to. Morning, do not feed the criminals. What are you doing here? I thought you worked in the mall. Mallbot wanted to follow dreams of being entertainer. First stop, Clown College. Second stop, Hollywood. Then Mallbot takes over world. All shall bow before Mallbot. Couldn't we get what we need from this bot? I'm not pulling out this guy's mechanical heart. I'm not a big gear hunter. Right Honorable Judge Duty, how does the defendant plead? Thou be an orphan, Your Honor. <laughs> Why is there a greasy face paint smeared all over this? The Right Honorable Judge Duty, the courtroom sketch artist ran out of paper and he just ran out. Want the job? No. Court is in session, and until I throw the book at this guy, it's staying that way. And throw it already. I'm not clowning around. I've lost it. Where? It was last seen on the hook in the nook by the brook until the wandering duck and other crook took the book, and now we don't know where to look. As a result, I'm terribly shook. Oh, I do hope you understood this gobbledygook. Is that your car outside? Yep, but I can't talk right now. I'm busy defending this clown. <laughs> what are you accused of? I want. My client is accused of clowning around on the job. But, but he's a clown. That's what I said. Clowns take the business of clowning very seriously. Clowns have no business clowning around on or off the clock, not even next to or under the clock. No clowning around in the vicinity of clocks, or clocking around in the vicinity of clowns. It's so serious you'll notice the lack of but um slap tracks or other comical sound effects here. Comedy is no laughing matter, not to clowns. Huh. Hey, you said happiness guaranteed, but this game is rigged. Yes, my happiness. <laughs> uh, well, hey, what's up, guy? I just, I'm not loving this carny as villainous and everything is rigged, shtick. It's a bit tired, isn't it? It is, but I needed the work and you need an obstacle to get, to get what you need, so here we are. It's a tough economy out there. It sure is, brother. Anyways, yes, I have rigged the game, and there is no way you and your weedy noodle arms can win. <laughs> Sorry, I don't write the script. I just read it. Turns out they're stuck together. <laughs> You'll never win one of my wonderful prizes. Here, Dooley, you try. Want to give it a go? Sure, I like throwing shit. Ah, oh, man, you beat my stereotypically rigged tin can tossing game. I guess you win a prize. What do you want? The biggest teddy bear you have. No, Dooley, we need the robot. It might help us get the elephant up and running. Stupid no good for cuddles robot. Are we done here? Can I go back to running a fair game here? Seems so. Thanks and sorry. All right, let's get his innards. What are you doing to Toba? Some jagged metal and some circuitry. Check it out. Where did that lady go and why are her clothes in a pile on the ground? She must have vanished like the others, Vince mentioned. How often is this happening? Vanishing every time there is a power surge, another punter goes missing. 
Vitz wanted to close the place, but that doesn't pay the bills, does it? She's gone, but her clothes remain. Hmm, she was holding this when she vanished. I guess it's evidence now. I suppose getting some reach on this hot dog bun couldn't hurt. Judge mentioned hooks and ducks. Maybe the book is around here somewhere. All that flapping around must have left you hungry. Quack! What's that, quack? Enchantment! Enchantment! I'm calling my lawyer! It's Howard the Duck! Ha 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 ha! So funny, but such a great fucking movie also. If you have not seen Howard the Duck, go watch it now! Well, after this LP. Finish the LP, then go watch Howard the Duck. Alright, let's give the judge's book. Hang stranger now to put an end to this farce. By the powder infested in me, mostly this wig, I declare you guilty. I threw the book at you two. Damn! I declare this case closed. Court dismissed. Was that your car outside? Yep, what of it? Can I have the keys? Well, I don't know you. And I've only just earned the money to pay it off by winning this case. But you have a face that is as honest as it is featureless. So sure. <laughs> Okay, let's drive this over to the elephant. One second, everyone out. What the? Shuffling sounds. Okay, you can take the car now. What the hell was going on there? A fucking clown orgy? Thanks. Looks like clown coming here. Well, I've got the car's battery here, but I need to connect it to the elephant. To fix the elephant's wiring. yank these old wires out and replace them with a the new circuit board from a much smaller machine. I'm constantly surprised at how easy it is to rewire things in this world. I wouldn't draw attention to it. You might jinx it, and then we'll have to wait a few days for a real electrician to show up. I should start by connecting them to the car first. Health and safety, always, even in pixels. Clip this here, and that there, and voila! We have a power source. No need to get all French about it. Okay, let's start this car and move that elephant. Painful ready. Boy, what's that smell? It's overloading! That's good, right? I'm sure it's fine. Everyone get the fuck out of here! Or not. Ah, oh, man, that didn't fix it! That didn't fix it at all, man! At least the car seems to be okay. <laughs> Never mind uh, that. Bum ride achievement unlocked. Yeah, that's not great, to be honest. Not great at all. Whoa! A stampeding elephant tried to mate with these horses far out! Oh dear, this is quite a mess. 
Paxi's not helping with cleanup. Oh shit! The fuck? What the fuck? It's me! Shingles! That guy just vanished. I think we may have found who's behind these missing people. So much for innocent until proven guilty. It's like you've forgotten your Hippocratic Oath. Dooley? Dooley! Dooley! It's not a real horse, Dooley. I knew that. It says congrats on not being sucked into an alternative dimension. I hope you kept your receipt. Be free, friend air! Well, that was no fun. That guy just vanished before our eyes. This clown is definitely our guy. Some of the horse poles got wedged in the ground during the crash. Bloom just about fits, but it's tight. Grab a hold of this dually and I'll aim at the horse's head. And I'll aim the horse's head. The last time, it's not a real horse. Yeah, right, I remembered that. Oh, fucking got him. Ah, my beautiful makeup covered face. He's out cold. I guess that's why they say you should never fire a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, let's lock him up in the animal cages before he wakes up. Right, that's him locked up. Much like that selfish baby, Tam does not like to share. <laughs> well, if Tam's got a new cellmate, Tam might as well see what's in his pockets. <laughs> looky, looky, Tam's got himself a confiscated. Ah, oh, man, lie, nobody's friend. Well, now, what have we got here? Machine instructions. Blueprints of some kind. I see, so we're looking for somebody with blueprints? A smurf, maybe? The whole tribe is number two on my list of suspects, buddy, but I mean it is a schematic, but for what? A teleporter, maybe? Yeah, I guess that certainly makes sense, but let's not jump to conclusions. Good, solid police work will get us where we need to go. Sure, it does say teleporter right there, though. You have it upside down. Okay, let's see. It says combine large blast of energy with something moving 88 meters per hour to teleport it. That certainly explains the energy dips. I think we may have to recreate this to go find those people. Don't leave Tam here with this bozo. He ain't got nobody to talk to. Mobot will talk with you. Really? No. <laughs> Mobot is a natural at clowning around. Oh, Tam just got roasted. Roasted real good. Roasted like a motherfucker. Let's go right and 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 right. Raxa! Detective Raxa! She's back, finally. I was wondering where this bitch went. Detective. Raxa, what brings you here? And who's your friend? Uh, where are my manners? This is my boyfriend, Bassam. Pleased to meet you guys. No judgment, but is he a ghost? Yes. It's a funny story, actually. We met through the Inspookter's gig. Inspookter's gig. Oh, I get it. Inspookter's gig. I was called to exercise a house when he was he was haunting. Instead, she exercised my heart. Aw, oh, ghost babe. Hey, detective. I see dead people. Romantically. I guess you do. So you're a colleague of Raxa's? I guess sort of. Same line of business anyways. Oh, competitor is it? Well, just don't go exercising me, you hear? <laughs> Seriously, please don't. Right, then right, then right, and ooh, look at that fucking cool bear. Robo bear. Robotic bear. Now there's something you don't see every day. I mean, it's common enough if you go to the right kind of bars. Um, okay. 
I don't think we're talking about that kind of bear dually. Unless that's your thing. That's fine. Is this cotton candy stuff? Vendor for cotton candy. I love cotton candy. T-shirt cannon. How can I not? It's like, how can I not but with a cannon in it? I wanted to combine cannon and cannot, but it came out as cannon not, and that makes no sense. What would you have said? I cannot leave this here. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, I see what you were going for anyways. Thanks. That looks like a haunted house. There's a robo monkey up there. Hmm, this ride seems to be up and running. I wonder... This heart seems a little loose. And anything loose in this game, I take. Whoops, fell right into my pocket. Looks like the mechanism for the water's flow. Let's have a look-see. Looks like I need to adjust these levers to get the water pressure flowing at 88 meters per hour. Which I think is about where that green mark on the gauge is. Now I just have to figure out the lever valves. Alright, this is a random solution puzzle, so we're just going to have to figure this out. It changes every time you play the game. like some levers work in pairs. If I follow the pipes, I should be able to work out what is linked to what. Okay. Goodness. So close. I think I have it at the speed I need. Yeah, we skipped ahead a little bit on that. It only took me a few minutes. But I didn't want to have you sitting there watching me turn levers and shit until I randomly figured it out. I don't got time to follow pipes. I don't follow pipes, I follow tacos. Hmm, maybe I can use this ride to recreate the teleporter that's schematic. Swan is ready to go at 88 meters per hour. Now to source a power source. Greetings, Candy the name and Candy's my game. Candy? It's short for Candifer. Family name makes it hard to get non-treat related jobs, mind you. That's a fun fact. I have a PhD in biochemistry that's just going to waste. That is less fun. Could we have some candy? 
Sure, what would you like? Some gummy bearables, maybe? Or pickled caramels? Or what about sugar-coated medicine? Eh, I'll have an assortment, I guess. One assortment, I guess, coming right up. What do you know about the missing people? I know that they are no longer buying my shit. So, Candifer, family name, you say? Oh, yes, my father was Candifer, as was his wife. My great-grandfather Candifer was famous as his Candifer attitude, while my only okay grandfather Candifer was a dog. Lovely chap, died chasing a car, the poor thing. Heck, I have 14 cousins, all called Candifer. It makes opening gifts at Christmas as exciting as it is confusing. Come back for more treats soon. My daughter Candifer is nearly calling day college age, and I need all the help I can get to cover the bills. Presentation is half the battle. I thought that was knowing. G.I. Joe joke. That's not for sale. A failed experiment. Licorice strings of lights. Doesn't work and tastes like shit. I can't give the stuff away. Well, if you're giving it away, I'd take some. Some? You can have it all! Licorice power game. Dude, I love red licorice. Black licorice, not so much, but the red shit, the Twizzlers? Mmm, fucking yum yum! I used to bite off both ends of the tips and use it as a straw. Fun fact. I love Robo Bear. He's cute. This fucking monkey is throwing pebbles of shit at Dooley. Huh, why do you think that robotic monkey is throwing ball bearings at us? Because he's a dick. Oh, hey, fella. Do me a favor, would you? What is it? Could you hold this hook for a second? My hand has a cramp and I need to stretch it out. Yeah, sure. Haha, <laughs> sucker. That's your murder weapon now. What? Well, crap. What's this? Have you seen this pigeon? I have not seen this pigeon. Prepare to be horrified, mesmerized, possibly even pasteurized. This is the haunted house full of ghouls, ghosts, and the most horrific thing of all, you! That's a little rude. It's a house full of ghosts we care not for etiquette on general basic manners. You fucking twat. Whoa, long-headed reflection, big torso reflection, and wavy reflection. Finally, those goat legs I've always wanted! I don't like this one, it's cutting some of me out. What did I ever do to it? Whoa, how's my hat staying on? Gives us the unwanted dinner guest achievement, and we have Mike Myers, Jason, and Freddy all eating together. I think maybe we should leave them to their romantic dinner. The last guy is so rude. Had on a dinner and using his fingers to cut up to food? It's like his manner went up in flames. Cool little tribute. Definitely fits the Halloween mood. Back to the lobby, damn it. This must be some kind of maze. A spooky maze! What a wonderful place. So many pictures to take. They all look a bit samey here, though. Well, ma'am, this is the Hall of Mirrors. You're just taking selfies. What a helpful young boy. He must be very proud. He's not, he's not my son. Oh, I understand. Sorry, a stepfather, stepson bonding day out. How very touching. Ugh. Well, I don't understand how all these reflections put us standing closer together. What the? What's going on here? 
That blasted chicken thinks it can stand up to me. Me, Nikola Tesla, the inventor of electricity. What has it invented but heartache and misery for the world? Can it even invent eggs? No, it's but a robot, a cold-hearted robot. But not for long, chicken. One blast of my death ray and you'll be gone. Gone, you hear me? Oh, right. It's a fucking death ray. Nice. Yes, a death ray. My death ray. My ray of death built for and focused on my terrible nemesis. I thought Edison was bad, but this chicken? Oh boy, it's a stinker, that's for sure. If our weekly game of police and precincts has taught me anything, it's that one should always take a rope when entering a dungeon. Of course, these perps aren't going to tie themselves up. If I tie this here, it should work as a makeshift grappling hook. I invented that too! The bell. Let's see where this terrifying contraption is aimed. Oh, right. Crazy Robo Chicken. I hate that game. The robot chicken is perched on the Ferris wheel just above the Tunnel of Love. This should give me more range of the grapple. I'm gonna get you, monkey. We use that to get people who are trapped on the lower levels down. But what about those higher up? Are they still up there? It's a fairly short ladder. Oh, you guys are fucked. Here goes nothing. Doing nothing was my plan. Okay, up we go. Yay! There it is, the robotic chicken tormenting Nikola Tesla. One of the greatest minds of human history. You know what they say, you die a hero or you get turned into a ghost obsessed by cybernetic foul. True, that's a very common saying. Okay, let's run this wire between this robotic chicken and the love boat. Then when Tesla zaps it with his death ray, it'll charge the boat, and we'll be one step nearer to teleporting to wherever Shingles the clown has taken the missing people. You love this work, don't you? I wouldn't change it for the world. Are you okay in there? Are you kidding me? I paid good money to be locked up and ignored. I consider this a freebie. Doris and McNugget. Detective, it's great to see... That's not what it looks like, Patrick. It's not? No. No? No. So you're not... No! We're not? No, we're not. That's a relief. It is? It should be. It's not. Cause for a minute there I thought, me too. You were trapped on a Ferris wheel. Ow. Yeah. Whew. I thought coming to the carnival was going to be so twee and boring. But here we are trapped in a cage, precariously suspended hundreds of miles above the floor. So romantic. Wait a minute. There's some clothes chilling over there? This must have been where one of the people went missing from. Why are they getting naked before running away? I don't think it's on purpose. Oh, getting naked by mistake is something I can relate to. I mean, it looks like the clothes get left behind when they get taken. Yeah, same. She's going through her render pot, the concept of death phase. Finally, somebody who I can foist this whole mess onto. We're just here investigating the missing people. That and these trapped people ain't my problem anymore, sucker. Can you tell me anything about the missing people? Uh, persistent, aren't you? Not much. 
There was a word of somebody gone missing earlier, then I had a flash up in one of the booths. And the thing hasn't worked since. How many people are left up there? There's literally no way to know the answer to that. Okay, well, I don't know the answer to that. When did the ride lose power? I don't know, there was a flash. I got some people out and then I got sucked into this Tamagotchi. One of them gave me as a thanks. You're telling me that a digital pet was more important? What age is it? I got this one to a Dooley! What? I need her advice. Mine never survived beyond hatchling. Thank goodness you're going. You've been really wrecking the otherwise chill vibe here. Fucking go back to your stupid Tamagotchi shit. Only nerds play with that stuff. Oh, that's so thoughtful. I, uh, I got you something in return. It's, uh, anything you want from my stall. That's it. This should get me up there. You put that there, detective. Don't you recall? Oh, gosh. I feared this day would come. Imagine the size of the egg that monster hatched from. Yeah, it's certainly impressive. Very bells and whistles. Bells and whistles? It's a duck! Close your eyes, Dooley. Since we know the way, we're going to gonna edit that part out from now on. Oh man, this is gonna mess with my step counter. Yes, this is what I need. Now I will fry that stupid chicken. Hey, you don't have a permit to fire that gun. You'll need my colleague here to shoot it for you. But really, yes. God, fine, fire away. I need to get into position first. I need to get into position first. Then get on with it, man! This is why I joined the force! Ha 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 ha! Fry that dumb chicken! Fry it to the asshole! Here goes nothing! I don't feel so... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! The end. Ladies and gentlemen, our final contestant for this round is awake! What, what, what's going on here? Reprisal, revenge, reciprocation! You humans have taken our beloved, adored, cherished even shingles, tore him from his family here, and so, until he's returned, we're taking your kind and making them run the gauntlet that is. Shingles Circus! But we didn't ca Silence! Silence your word hole and prepare your brain lump for the circus. Only the luckiest and bestiest survive. Shingles Circus? What the fuck is going on? Where am I? Are you ready to run your little legs off? Will you survive the horrors that await? Can you all make it through or will we have to kidnap another bunch of you fleshy nuisances? That is to say, you are ready to go. Yeah. On your marks. Get set. Go! Some running man shit. Ah, uh, help me, I got stuck on this in the fall. Stay calm, I'll find a way to get you down. Seems like a terrible time to come down. Oh wait, yeah, I understand you now. 
What's this, sports fans? <laughs> they're not even fully in the circus and they're already running into difficulty. We might need to wind up the teleporter so we can grab new victims soon. <laughs> Ooh, Indiana Jones whip. I might be able to use that. A hoop for lines to jump through. Is there is there gonna be a line here? Because I would die. I would just vibrate with joy until I reached a resonant frequency powerful enough to explode, taking you all out with me. A strong man's hammer could be useful. Ugh. Are you okay with that, mister? Who, me? I'm fine. It's light as a feather. A solid hit should turn this into something I can work with. I just tie this through this and I have a hooky whippy thing. One of those how strong are you games? Okay, grab onto this. My cat! There you go. Whoa, intense. I'm not done with you yet. Release the hunter! Oh, shit. What the heck is that? I don't know. But it seems to have broken this platform free. Quickly, paddle away from it. Is that thing gone? I think so. Where are we now? I wonder if this comes off. I need you to give me a boost. But I'm so frail, mister, you know, from that time you you lot expelled my helper ghost. I mean, I need you to hold on to this box. Steady. I guess we press this? <laughs> they pushed the button, folks. Those idiots! Say hello to my little friends! Well, things could have certainly gotten worse. Great. You're not going to... Oh my god, you are gross! Now to knock this light around like a luminous pinata. Wait, what are you?! Damn eels! Let's get out of here. What the? What was it land? It's a conveyor belt. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> My hunter has you now. Can't break free. I'm feeling a tightness in the chest. Is this an anxiety attack? Don't feel bad. You had a good run. Now take a deep breath and get in the box. And die. Fuckers. Mister, I think I made an accident. Everything's all wet. Nah, kid. We've just been dropping some water inside of a box that's filling up. Now I've made the accident. A loose nail. If I can just reach it, don't keep us in suspense. If you can just reach it, what? I can't reach them while I'm still tied up. I just need to pick at these ropes for a bit. And I'm out. I'll have you out in a jiffy. I'm already in some rope in a box and some slime. I don't know what a jiffy is, but I don't think I want to be in one of those as well as everything else. Stay still. I'm going to cut you out. Don't ruin my clothes. Your prisoner issue jumpsuit? Whatever. Just don't tear it. I want to look good when I'm on camera next week. Stay still. Sorry, guy, but it's hard to not shake when somebody comes at you with a rusty nail, you know. Okay, swim up, everyone. 
Are... are we dead? Oh, one second. That light's on, that's better. Welcome to Fish Belly Lab. Because it's a lab you see in a fish's belly, get it? Were you just sitting in here in the dark? In the dark by yourself? No. Yes. Wait, how do you know Dooley? Dooley, is that his name? Dooley? Ha, ah, yes. It feels right on my tongue. That man changed my life. Flashback. Ah, I've dropped all the files that I was carrying in this precarious pile for some inexplicable reason. Hey there, let me help you with that. You? You do that for me? You kind, pure soul. One day I shall repay this debt. Eh, all right. Ever since that day, I have owed him a debt that I did not know how to repay when I saw more people like him, like you, on the circus, the leggers, I call you. I hoped that one of you could lead me to him. I quickly built this machine and came looking for you in the stadium. And since you know him, I think I was right to. Oh, great idea. Maybe you can work out the coordinates for the last sector. Just turn the dials to the coordinates you think the mainframe is, and we'll head straight over. Okay, I feel good about this. The coordinates are... It goes nothing. We got it! Now let's hack this son of a glitch. Hack it? How, how do I do that? You need to get to the mainframe's database. You'll be fine, just avoid the firewalls. Or else... Alright, this is us here. We got to navigate through without getting screwed. Oh, there's more. I've hit a firewall, being booted out of the system. Fuck that up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Freedom! Hacker speak. So what now? I guess we look for something useful. Never thought this far ahead, to be honest. But do you haunt this house? It's a great resource for Fetalist Ghost. Everything is fine. All is as it should be. My honorable opponent says everything is fine in not America. But I say everything would be more fine if underwater. He is surrounded by fire. There's no fire underwater. Only the sweet, cold, and dark embrace of the deep. Vote Cracky. Is your home on fire? Is the number one source for all fires happening in your house news? Is your home on fire? Let's find out. Yes! All right, oh wait, boo! This looks like our screen here with Pox. Agent McScreen, I know that guy, we're friends. Tell us, Agent, does your difficult task in the Bright Side Division leave you much time for friends? It is a friend, but a liability. A drain on one time and focus. A dangerous thing in any job. We're more work friends. What about work friends? No. Awkward. Are you a celebrity? It's a favorite of mine. The question on everybody's lips, are you a celebrity? Uh, no, I'm not. There you have it, viewers. Another citizen interviewed, another celebrity not yet discovered. Quality viewing. Gray Box Blue Box is a show in which a lady points at some boxes and tells you whether they are gray or blue. Sounds good. Well, no, it doesn't. It sounds like rubbish. It is, however, oddly very good. It's fucking Jeopardy, man. Or wait, no, that's Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to buy a vowel. Um, what is this? Some football shit. Moonball! It's a lot like your American football, but with less oxygen, gravity, or surviving. That sounds fun. Topless Man Dances is one of the most popular shows here. It's on every hour of the day. You can tell he's getting really tired in the more recent seasons, though. How to Fight a Turkey is the city's most viewed PSA broadcast. When asked on his predecessor's whereabouts, new mayor Jonathan Blackteeth pointed to a glowing door and said, She's over there. Have you seen this monster? He's wanted for questioning by the government. Well, I'll be. It's Loch Ness. The producers of Aeroplane Jungle, Cloud Combat, and Sky Occurrences comes Action Plane, the thrilling story of a man, his plane, and the land-based organization trying to keep them apart. Being forcefully projected into your dreams this spring. Have you seen the shape? It's one of our favorites. Aw, oh, what a cute little fellow. The Sock Puppet Strangler is wanted for 14 murders. If you see him, you are advised to stay away as he is armed and dangerous. Get it armed because he's a puppet and has an arm in him. See, brilliant. Anyway, he's an extremely dangerous individual and should be avoided at all costs. It looks like a video of Pox and Shingles arguing. But the viewing numbers are falling, Shingles. We have to do something. I know that, but kidnapping humans and making them run the gauntlet in place of Darksiders seems... It's just too much, brother. I don't need your permission. Maybe I'll do it anyways. I won't allow it. You won't have a choice. This is the stuff. We have them now. Let's upload it. We found the video. Let's upload it to the main feed. So much of what you say means nothing to me, yet also sounds meaningless. I read Dummy's Guides to Hackology, so I think I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I really don't know, but I think I do. They've gone off the grid, but we'll find them soon, fans! Where could they have got? What? What is this? But the viewing numbers are falling, Shingles. We have to do something. I know that, but kidnapping humans and making them run the gauntlet in place of Darksiders seems... It's just too much, brother. So somebody cut the feed! I don't need your permission. Maybe I'll do it anyways. I won't allow it. You won't have a choice. What is that? 
It's the teleporter I've told you I didn't need your permission. I've already built it and captured the first run of humans. Gone too far, Park. Send them home. And let's get back to tonight's show. Maybe I'll send you back instead. What? I'm not from there. You can't send me back. I know that. I was being... Oh, what's the word? Dramatic? Yes, dramatic. Thanks. That would have annoyed me for ages. Anyways, enjoy the human world shingles. <laughs> now! Fuck you, brother! It's not what it looks like. Hawks. Mommy, oh dear. Hawks the clown. Did you put your brother through an interdimensional wormhole again? Yes, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Oh, you naughty boy. I don't care what it takes. Get him back this instant. Yes, mommy. So, uh, sorry for everything. No hard feelings. Very hard feelings, actually. Whatever, holding on to grudges gives you wrinkles. Now, if I send you home, can I have my brother back? Sure, he hasn't done anything wrong, I guess. Nice one. Well, get ready to be teleported. Wait, mystery man, I never got your name. Oh, it's... Rex McKean. Oh my gosh, they're gone. Yeah, sorry. I want my brother back in time for dinner, or else mummy won't throw a pie in my face for dessert. Rex is Latin for King. Your name means King McKean. That's stupid. Aww. Then you twist it, the lock should pop right off. Useful information to own. So that's what I was doing wrong? Didn't know if I'm to live in this life of crime. And the best bit is that crime's not even illegal here. I'm not sure that, I mean, I'm really not sure. Maybe that's true. Hey, Dooley. Ah, uh, don't sneak up on me like that, detective. Shingles, you're free to go. Really? I'm a free man? Yes, I can taste it in the air. I hope being inside didn't change me too much. I hope I can reacclimate to a life on the outside. You were there for like half an hour. Time moves differently on the inside. Before you go, I have one last question. If you're innocent of the teleporter and were sent here against your will, why did you pop into existence shouting, it's me, Shingles. Ow, it's like my catchphrase, you know? It's me, Shingles, yay, that sort of thing. Mummy always said you gotta make a good first impression. Anyways, time for me to go. See you clowns in the future. Well, that's that problem fixed. Okay, goodness, I'm pooped. You're pooped, you were... Let us hear it for Officer Dooley who saved the day. Hip, hip. I couldn't have done it without your help, Detective. Come on, let's get some lunch. Sure. Oh, hey, do you remember helping a guy in the city when you were over there? Detective, if I had a dime for every guy I saved in the city, I'd have no idea how much money I'd have because I lost my wallet on the way over here. Also unrelated, lunch is on you. <laughs> oh, well. Let's get out of here. Tam, get out too? Pray not, Tam. According to Section 4B3, Paragraph X, stealing a kid's candy is a worse crime than teleporting a load of citizens out and making them run a spooky gauntlet. Tam thinks that's all these specific and unbalanced by law. But the law is the law. It is, Tam. It is. Case closed, and hopefully we find some clothes, because... Detective is shrieking out here. All right, folks, these uh, cases definitely are a lot longer than the, in the original game. All four have been right around an hour, so that's working out for this Ronsta October 22 just nicely. Stay tuned for case number five, Royal Fumble.